You know, when I when he gave me that, it just I could have butt cried. And I'm six five, six six, three hundred twenty pound man. I, I could not couldn't do more than just cry. You know, and I, I see the Vietnam vet here, and my father's a Vietnam vet, and sitting over there. And my biggest thing is when I go through the VA system, I've been in the VA system. I know how it works. Yes, it's great healthcare. Yes, it's great medical. But when you're treated like a number, what's good in that? I mean, most people can be healed from a laugh or just being taken care of or act like someone cares. But unfortunately, the way things are going, I don't believe the federal government cares about who we are. They care about lining their pockets. Yeah. 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 It sickens me to know that even though the scariest thing in Iraq wasn't getting shot at, it wasn't losing my life or seeing my friends blown up by an IV. The scariest thought was knowing that back home in that little White House, on top of that hill, they're talking about budget cuts and military cuts. And I'm not for sure if anybody knows too much about you know, war, but when you're sharing a 50-gallon drum with 200 other Marines, and you're eating the same food day in and day out, and you've got ammunition in your weapon that's five or six years old, you don't know if it's gonna misfire or fire when the time comes. It's, a, it's exactly, it's a very, very scary thought. And the one first thing that went through my mind when they started talking about military cuts was, what else are they gonna take from us? Yeah, body armor. Body armor or, or vehicles that actually work. You know, we left. We actually had to leave a Humvee out in the middle of the desert because we couldn't tow it back because nothing worked. But these are going to contractors that are the lowest bidder. You know, they're talking about military cuts. There shouldn't be a military cut. I'm sorry. You know, that we should have the best and be the best, and we can't fight a war in, in, in the media. Because there are things that happen in war that you don't want your kids right to on. see. Right on. It's not how it's played. And the biggest thing I know up here, and I can stop standing for you today, we're not getting out of Iraq or Afghanistan. I'm sorry, it's, it's not gonna happen. We're the only country in the world that will destroy your infrastructure and then help you rebuild it. But these people have been fighting with each other since the dawn of man. Just because America's gone in there doesn't mean that's gonna, we're gonna fix anything. And the sad truth is we're gonna continue to do it. We're gonna film supporting these guys, our guys. We've only got one team. If you're not with us, you're against us. be with Democrat, Republican, liberal, independent, left side, right side, you know, Muslim, Christian, Mormon, it doesn't matter. We're all, we only got one team over there, and those are our boys, and our females, our women. And a lot of the veterans coming home today, they're not 50, 60, 70 years old. They're 19, 21, 22 year old kids coming back, coming back to negativity saying, hey, what you're doing over there is wrong. I don't, I don't approve of Bush, or hey, you know, Obama's this way, or Bush is that way. I'm here about the veterans. Yes. Veterans first. Right. Even in my own hometown, after I got back from Haditha, Iraq, it's been eight months, I got spit on on the corner of Stockdale and what, Stockdale, California. You know? <laughs> but being the man that I was, I put my hands in my pocket and I thanked the gentleman for his son's service and I walked away. But at the same point, in me, it was stirred another thing saying, you know what, we gotta do more. Not just as Americans, but as veterans, as brothers and sisters. You know, we're all one family here. We all believe the same. And no matter what we do, if we just took care of each person, that guy, or this lady, or him, we made sure that we took care of the people to the left and to the right of us. We could change the world in a day. I guess my biggest thing too is that, you know, after seeing all the support, you know, here, and the people coming together, I think it's what happened is the party that's in, 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 in charge right now, I think it's, it's probably one of the best things that ever happened to the American people because we're coming together on a whole new level. Not just up here, but down here where it really matters. And it's all of us standing in these parks, you know, all across the world. And like I said, I believe too, that if Marines, sailors, soldiers, did I forget somebody? Air Force. <laughs> if we all can live in little barracks, three to a room, Soaking those people up on the hill. Yep. They don't need, they don't need a million dollar salary. Yep. They don't need a big hill up there overlooking, you know, the White House. I didn't. I never. See, I haven't seen the White House. I sat in a 12 by 12 room with three other Marines, and that's how I lived for the last four years. Why can't they? Come on. You know, I mean, they need some money. Cut their budget. Come on. You know? We still. We. You know, like I said, I, my, I guess one of my famous or one of my best quotes is that you know we we sit and we pay our our actors and entertainers, millions and millions of dollars to act 
a roll, catch a football, throw a baseball. Yeah, we, we pay our service members pennies on the dollars to catch bullets. And it's not our, and it's not my right, or it's not my job to go to war, but it's my right to finish it. You know, I don't start the wars, I just finish them. Yeah. You know I mean? like I said, it's, it's up to the veterans and we need to continue to take care of them. And I guess with all that being said, you know, I just, the biggest thing I want to see is America come back together. Yeah. Divided we fell, and I'm sorry, that's just how I feel. And I'm not one way or the other. That's just an American. Like I said, I didn't vote this last time. I'm sorry. I didn't believe either way. I didn't, I didn't like any of the candidates. So I, I chose my right not to vote. That's right. right. That's, my, that's my right and that's my privilege. And going back to that again, it's not a right to be free. It's a privilege. Right. Because of the veterans that are out here today, it's because of them we have the privilege to stand up out here. It's not our right. Because if we didn't have men like that fighting for it, I believe in freedom. Trust me. I believe in peace. If I could live in peace, I would. But you have to fight for peace. And that's just the way it is. Like I said, freedom was bought by the blood of patriots. And it goes back 275 years now, maybe? 235. Absolutely. And they're coming here and they're restoring what we have become. I guess with all that being said, I just want to thank everybody for allowing me to get up here. Hopefully I haven't offended anybody in too many ways. It's not like I'm just speaking on my life and what I feel. <laughs> but, it's my right. it's my right. but I believe in talking in, in what they call, what in the Marine Corps terms is tact. Tact is being able to speak in a tone that's not offensive to anybody. Proper tact. So that's why I'm not up here screaming and yelling about the president or the party or whatever. I just believe we need to start it down here and work our way up and take care of the job. And if there's anybody out there that can lead me in that way, please let me know. Other than that, God bless and suffer five dollars. Thank you, Jeremy.